Hi, this is Patrick from Serve the Home. Today we're going to look at some big new sockets. We're going to look at the Intel LGA 3647 socket, which is currently used in Knight's Landing. We took a picture of the chip next to a Broadwell EP and Broadwell DE, and you can see that the LGA 3647 chip is much larger than either of those. So how big is the socket? Well, we took the Broadwell EP chip, which is an E5 2698v4 and put it over the LGA 3647 socket, you can see that it is completely dwarfed by the size of these new chips. We also had a opportunity to take a BGA package, which is a Xeon D package, and you can see that it's not even a quarter of the area of the new Knight's Landing chip socket. This is the same socket that we expect to be in with chips like Skylake E going forward. We took a quick overview shot of the socket while we were in the data center. You can see that the traditional latching mechanisms that were seen in former Intel sockets are no longer present. Instead, there are guide pins and screws. Moving to the thermal solution, you can see that there's now a clip guide system that you put the chip into. It interfaces with the thermal interface material, and then that chip is placed onto the socket. Here you can see that we're aligning the thermal solution to the guide pins. This then pops into place, and at this point we can use the four guide screws in the specific order that is listed on the thermal solution to secure the heatsink in place. Working with LGA 3647 has certainly shown us the need for this. The socket is huge, the chips are very heavy, and so the old latching mechanism simply would not work. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more cool videos.